there is a downside to being a champion. Everyone focuses on the day you won. Of course, you remember that day with pride. Especially when you annihilate. When you annihilate. Annihilate the competition. Oh, that sandbag. What's going to happen there? No problem. But the thing that makes you dig deep. The question that makes your heart race at night. Can we do it again? And again? And again? Oh, yeah! This is our third year competing. We are the reigning champions. So the competition is to create an autonomous snowplow robot. The snow, snow load causes the robot to, to move in ways that you don't expect. Essentially, it's designing a, a navigation and guidance solution which can overcome these environmental conditions. Six will be Ohio University. I see it as a, a challenge to, to learn more. Or this year I was tasked with uh, learning about the control systems and the kinematic and dynamic effects on the robot. As an electrical engineer, you don't really learn about the, uh, the mechanics and dynamics. This sort of forced me to, to learn these things and pick them up, and I found it a great learning experience. <laughs> well, you know, Ohio's made a pretty good run the last uh, all times we've done this, so uh, expectations are high. I'm getting slightly nervous now. We are next. Many people, when they look at this competition and our robot, all they see is a snow plow. But the technology that we use can be applied to so many other platforms. Whether it's plowing snow or searching for people, uh, pretty much it takes the, removes the human and provides a, a safety factor for completing such tasks. It has helped me gain knowledge in all sorts of aspects of electrical engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, teamwork, management, organization, and, as well as, very important, is the networking. Excellent. And our first place award goes to, that would be Ohio University. Itch. Power through it. On my nose. In my nose. Bill, hit my nose. <laughs> <laughs>